Hi everyone, so I see a lot of people struggle with references and APA formatting when it comes to writing research papers. This is a tutorial on Zotero, which is basically your fairy godmother when it comes to APA style and reference management. It's a free program downloadable from Zotero.org. Basically, Zotero stores every journal article, book, chapter, news article, every resource you would possibly want to use for a research paper all in one place. So there's no need for a forest of folders on your desktop or your hard drive. Best of all, it handles APA citations for you. So in-text citations, reference pages, all handled by Zotero so you can focus your time and energy on writing instead of the formatting bullshit. Some people hear citation management and think of a program called EndNote and say, oh God, please kill me. But Zotero is much more user friendly. And my favorite thing about it is its seamless integration with Word and Google Docs. So I wrote every paper for my master's program using Google Docs and Zotero. And I never lost points or marks for APA style or references. So let me first show you what Zotero can do, and then I will show you step-by-step step how to get it set up and running. So I've got this Google Doc open. It's the APA template that is provided in Google Docs. It's pretty great. But let's say that I've written a paper and I want to include some citations. So I've got this sentence here, and let's say that I'm writing a paper on maternal mortality in the United States. I just go up to Zotero and I say that I want to add a citation and it gives me this search bar. This search bar I can enter really keywords, titles, um, author names, journal names, dates, and it will find the relevant articles for me that I have saved already in my Zotero library. So I've got a, a article by Agrawal, Say Chang. Um, let's say some other article. So let's say I've got a sentence and three different references sort of apply to that sentence. I got the information from three different places. There I have my in-text citations properly formatted according to APA style, and I have some down here as well. So after I've cited my sources in text, I want to generate a bibliography page or reference page. So I go down to references. This is something I entered from before, but let's say I'm starting fresh and I hit Zotero and I say add edit bibliography. Basically it just scans my document and it generates a bibliography page properly formatted according to APA style. Awesome. Now let's say that I go back and decide, you know, the sentences I wrote earlier don't really apply, or these um, authors don't really apply, I can just delete it like that. Or let's say I just want to get rid of one or more of my citations. Here I can search again, tally. And then let's say I know that there's another paper in here that applies um, by this author. So I can hit enter again. It regenerates the in-text citation. And then down here, it also regenerates my bibliography page, getting rid of the authors that I got rid of in in-text. So it makes sure that your in-text citations are consistent with your bibliography page. All right, so the first time I saw this coming from traditional methods, my mind was totally blown. So if you need to like gather yourself for a minute, you can do that. Um, but I also wanna show you how to go ahead and get started in Zotero. Honestly, you probably don't need the rest of this video. You can close it right now, download Zotero and figure it out yourself. It's pretty easy and straightforward, but if you do get stuck, come back here. Or if you're just tired of me, there's plenty of other tutorials online. Um, Zotero has some great resources as well. All right, so let's get started with setup. You're going to go to Zotero.org, and in the page will look like this. You're going to do two things. The first thing is you're going to want to create an account. So you'll go to login, you'll create an account. 
The next thing you're going to want to do is download Zotero to your computer, and it works equally well for Mac, Windows, or Linux. You'll hit download, and you can download the computer version here. While you're here, you're also going to want to install the connector for whatever web browser you're using. This will make it much easier to actually import articles into your database later. And if you're using Google Chrome, it will also automatically set it up so that Zotero integrates with Chrome like we did before and with Google Docs. Now, when you open Zotero for the first time, it's going to look a lot like this, and it should give you a prompt to log in to the program. What this does is it allows you to sync your library across devices. There's not really a good version of this program for your phone or anything like that, but if you work on different computers, then the library that you create on one computer will sync to the other. Zotero gives you a lot of storage space for free. I've used Zotero for many years and never run out of storage space, but if you're really prolific, then you can pay to upgrade and get more storage. The next step is to link Zotero to the word processor of your choice. If you followed the previous step of installing the connector for Chrome, you already have it set up for Google Docs. But let's say if you wanted to set it up for Word, you would go up here to Tools, and then you would go to Add-ons and it gives you a very quick interface. You just click and it sets it up for, for Word, whether you're using Mac or Windows. So you've got an empty library and Zotero can only help you out if you have files here. So there are a couple ways that you can bring files that you find into the Zotero library. One way is to simply download the file and drag and drop it into the library, but the quicker way is through the web interface through that browser connector that you installed earlier. When you do that, you'll see a little uh, icon up in your web browser and it says save to Zotero. You click that and basically it scans the page, brings it over into your Zotero library, and it also go ahead will go ahead and download the PDF for you if it's available. So there I have the PDF ready so that I can read it. If the PDF is not available, and even when it is, it will also take a snapshot for you. Um, this is useful if for some reason you're using a, a news article or something that doesn't have a PDF attached to it. That's how you move things that you find online into your Zotero library. Now, Zotero is not perfect. It's only as good as the data that it has saved for it in the system. Sometimes when you import an article into the library, it might not have a DOI, it might not have an access URL, and both of those things are required for APA formatting. Sometimes it will also import titles in title case where APA formatting requires sentence case. In this case, it did a good job, um, but you still want to go back and verify that Zotero did a good job importing your data. All right, so now you're ready to start writing and you can kind of put APA formatting and references on the back burner and let yourself focus on the quality of your writing rather than setting up the page. Zotero has some other features like creating shared libraries for research groups, but this should be good enough to get you started. Uh, please comment below if you have questions like the video if it was helpful, and share it with anyone else who might be in the throes of writing research papers and pulling their hair out over APA formatting. Thank you for watching.